Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over a snow event for parts of the Great Lakes and the interior northeast for uh, later today and even into tomorrow. This is also not going to be the last storm that we're going to see even just this week. So uh, we will start to see a few more storms uh, and that's going to be happening probably for Tuesday. We're going to see our next system come out of the Midwest and move into the Great Lakes. So we're also going to be briefly covering that, but we're going to talk about that storm a little bit more, uh, especially tomorrow once this system moves moves by. So we have a few things to cover. Again, we're going to have your snowfall forecast towards the end of today's video. Uh, so make sure you are staying tuned all the way until the end so you don't miss that. Uh, and we're also going to have uh, we're also going to have your detailed forecast on when that snow is going to happen. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, that you want to have answered, uh, just leave them down below. And if you want a personal forecast as well, just leave that down below as well in the comment section, and I'll be responding uh, within a few hours of you guys posting that. Uh, so this is going to be a fun video to make. We're definitely getting to the heat, uh, into the swing of things with uh, the winter season, and we're definitely seeing a lot more snow than we were just a week ago. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with our weather photo of the day, this one is sent in by Juniper. He's been taking some great photos uh, for us from southern Michigan. This is in Hale, Hillsdale, Michigan, from about 9 o'clock this morning. So I'm recording this at about 10.20 uh, in the morning uh, today, so uh, Eastern time. So uh, probably he said that it was snowing at around 0.8 inches per hour. So if it's snowing at about half an inch to an inch per hour uh, over that time, they already had a half an inch accumulation. So I'm assuming they're probably right around an inch of snowfall on the ground uh, up to this point. You can see that, especially once you look at some of the houses, you can see the snowflakes flying by. Uh, so it is snowing while he took that picture and then also you can see that we have that light coating of snowfall on the ground now they sent in a, a photo yesterday as well at around six o'clock in the morning so uh around six o'clock yesterday they sent in a photo uh and they had a decent amount of snowfall on the ground i'm assuming some that melted during the daytime once the sun, sun came out and all of that uh, but it looks like this morning they woke up to a little bit more snowfall uh, as well you can see some of the leaves and the grass poking through so it's not a thick cover of snowfall uh, but I'm assuming that again once you get more snowfall on the ground once you get more snow to fall uh, you will start to see those accumulation the accumulation rise and especially since it's going to be snowing for another couple of hours there and because we already have that initial coating of snowfall it's not going to be too hard to layer up maybe a couple uh, more inches on top of what they already have on the ground if you want to have your uh, photo featured like a juniper make sure that you send over your photos especially any snow or ice photos that you have uh, to my email address which is eli the weather guy yt at gmail.com uh, just send in a general area of where you took uh, that photo from so like uh, juniper did just say maybe a town name it does not have to be as specific as that you could alternatively just write southern michigan in this case since that's where hillsdale is uh, it does not have to be too specific but just so that we get a general idea of where that photo was taken from so here's a look at what the current National Weather Service page looks like. You can see that we do have some flood watches up into western Washington, as well as some wind advisories for the northwest. We also have a few more wind advisories up into Iowa and Illinois. And then we have winter weather advisories for parts of eastern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, western Michigan, as well as for some parts of West Virginia. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that actually does touch the western panhandle of Maryland as well. Yesterday, we had a high temperature of 96 degrees, two miles west of Paula, California. The low temperature was in Angel Fire, New Mexico, where they got down to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Highest rainfall report was in Dodson, Oregon, where they got 3.7 inches of rainfall. And the highest snowfall report was 10 miles north of Gatsky, Minnesota, where they got 10 inches of snowfall. That's right up near uh, the Canadian border. Here's a look at what the current radar looks like. So uh, I'm recording this again around 10.20 a.m. Eastern Time. So this is when this is valid for. So I'll write it right here at the top 10 20 uh, a.m eastern time is when i'm recording this and when this would be uh, valid for so uh, if you're watching this after this which i know everybody who is watching the video is watching it after 10 20 a.m eastern time uh make sure that you go check your local uh, weather uh, station uh, whether that be on the news or whether you just check the app uh, and see where the snowfall and the rainfall is right uh, as of when you're uh, watching this video because again this is again 10 20 a.m eastern time you 
you guys are going to be watching this probably even the earliest people are going to be watching this 15 20 minutes after that so uh still uh you still do want to make sure that you are keeping up today especially when you have snow uh impact in the forecast we do have some snow according to this and again this is only using temperature profiling it's not 100 percent accurate so i'm not sure whether it is actually snowing or not especially for this area from dayton to indianapolis i'm a little bit more iffy on whether it is snowing right now but if it is, uh, just let me know in the comments because I know I have a few viewers from that area and I am genuinely curious on whether it is snowing there uh, because you can look at the radar all you want, but we, unless it's in an area that you know for sure it is cold enough, uh, it is hard to tell, especially with these borderline type of events. It is hard to tell uh, when it's snowing at 33 or 34 or if it's maybe raining at 33 or 34 degrees. You can see that that snow also extends all the way up uh, into parts of eastern Michigan, uh, northwestern Ohio, northeastern uh, Indiana, uh, and that even goes into some bigger areas like Detroit and Toledo. So uh, these areas will also be getting in. Uh, on some snowfall uh, how much of that is actually going to stick especially in the urban areas I don't know because it, it is going to be a lot more concrete in those spots it is much easier for snow to stick onto grass and wooden surfaces uh, so in an urban center I'm not sure if a lot of that is actually going to stick I think most of that will probably melt upon contact but if you get that initial layer of snowfall if it is cold enough for that uh, then you could most certainly see some snow out of this also i am going to be interesting uh inter inter interested to see uh if later in the day uh we if we were seeing in the pittsburgh game because pittsburgh's going to play at home uh this week uh and actually later today i believe it's either a 1 p.m start or a 4 25 p.m start uh and i'm interested to see whether it's actually going to be snowing at that time so uh that would be something fun if you are going to watch football today I would definitely tune into that game because it's always fun to see a, a snow game uh, and especially in this type of event you do have the possibility of that snow aligning perfectly with the start of that game so it might make it a little bit uh, more hectic on the field but it'll definitely be a lot more fun uh, to watch from TV as well so uh, that's something that I will be th uh, looking out for and thinking about later today and I'm gonna definitely try and tune into that game because I want to see if the weather is actually gonna, gonna affect that so here's what the European model is showing for this so this is the high resolution european model and we do have a little bit of a problem especially if you live in central indiana with uh keeping up with this snowfall so your low pressure center by this point and this is around 10 or 11 a.m eastern time on this model and you can see that we do have uh, that little line of colder air uh, and the cold air extends basically like this so you have that little pocket and little trough of cold air out ahead of the system but uh, the problem is that right underneath the system you have some warmer air because that low pressure system is going to carry up some of the warmer uh, air because it does have more energy it has more moisture so you need that to form up the system uh, and for that reason it looks like anywhere that's basically uh, at the same uh, longitude uh, or maybe even a little bit further west of that uh, low pressure center is going to be uh, under the under the effect of rain so it looks like if you're uh, basically within this sector right here you're definitely going to be more in the warmer side of things but because of the shallow cold air out ahead of the system if you live just east of that low pressure center once it's moving by you could get into a little pocket of snowfall so uh, let's move this on so this is around uh, 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time by this point so this would be right around uh, when the games are starting up uh, and you can see that we are dealing with some uh, snowfall moving into eastern Ohio western Pennsylvania so I just checked the game does start at 1 p.m. in Pittsburgh uh, today so I'm again I am going to be interested to see whether uh, it is snowing by that point it looks like for kickoff it might be light flurries but you get maybe second quarter third quarter uh, and you're starting to get in on some uh, maybe be some more light to moderate snowfall that might actually stick to the grass so uh, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna keep in the back of my mind uh, for later today so this is again around 1 or 2 in the uh, afternoon Eastern time the system then moves uh, further to the east so we now have the system through southern Michigan but because we're in the daytime hour we're at the peak time for warm weather during the day it is turning to a bit of a mix or uh, maybe some rain over a lot of these areas. So you're still snowing uh, or maybe even a mix of snow into areas like West Virginia, Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Uh, but now in areas like Michigan and Ohio and southern West Virginia, it is turning back over to snowfall uh, or actually to rainfall or maybe a little bit of a mix. Uh, so it's probably not going to stay as all snow during the entire event. 
especially considering that you have a shallow layer of cold air. It's not really that deep, and it's also going to be right around that freezing mark. So it's not going to be like it's snowing at 25 degrees. It's going to be snowing, but at maybe 33 or 32 degrees. Uh, it's not going to be the coldest snow. It will be a good snow to make snowballs out of because it will be uh, one of those snowfall that's a little bit heavier. So it is going to be a pain to shovel out, especially if you get a few inches of snow. But uh, it'll be definitely fun if you want to make a snow four or if you want to uh, have a snowball fight. This is definitely the type of snow that you would want to do that in. And then moving this on to the evening, uh, you can see that parts of northern Pennsylvania, southern New York, and even into the Adirondacks of upstate New York, and the Green Mountains in Vermont, and the Berkshires in western Massachusetts are getting in on some snowfall, light to moderate for most of these spots. I have tuned down the amount of snowfall that you're going to see on my forecast at the end of the video in parts of Vermont, uh, Massachusetts, uh, upstate New York. I have tuned down that amount of snowfall just because it looks like the, like the storm is going to speed up, so instead of lingering into Tuesday morning, it might just stay until maybe Monday early afternoon, which is a big difference from yesterday, and it also looks like the lake effect won't be as potent. So uh, even if you, uh, it looked like yesterday, even if you didn't get a lot of snow out of the storm, you might get that made up for with the lake effect on the backside. But right now it looks like the winds might die down a little bit more on the back edge of that. So you might still see lake effect in a city like Buffalo uh, or Syracuse uh, possibly, but it will be harder, especially as you get further to the east into, let's say, the eastern Adirondacks, the Catskills, uh, parts of Vermont and New Hampshire. I don't know if the lake effect is actually going to make its way all the way to those areas. So uh, it looks like that could be an impact, and I have, for that reason, lowered uh, my forecast at snowfall in those areas, which you will see uh, when I show you the snowfall forecast at the end of the video. So this is by Monday early in the morning, so we're talking about 1 or 2 a.m. Eastern time. You have some snow still lingering on through Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, uh, and then you have a bit more snowfall up into parts of the interior northeast for Maine, New Hampshire, uh, the Green Mountains in Vermont, and then also for northern New York as well. Moving this on, you can see that that system is going to start to pull away, and this is when you start to get the lake effect because now your low pressure center is moving from right here uh, further to the east, which means that you're going to now get that northwesterly or westerly breeze coming in off the Great Lakes uh, because the low pressure center is moving to the east. So its entire wind field around it is also shifting a little bit further to the east. So you're now starting to see some of that lake effect in the form of rain, ice, and snow moving across parts of uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, uh, and that'll continue to extend further to the east. So uh, it is going to be a breezy and slightly colder day in the northeast for Monday morning, and then you get to Tuesday morning and we're going to have another storm, which is going to be impacting these areas with possibly more rain and snowfall and we're going to be talking about that storm probably tomorrow. So here's a look at some of the forecasted snowfall amounts. Let's start off with the National Weather Service because I think by this point when you're only about 36 hours away from the completion of an event, it is good to look at the National Weather Service for their forecast. They're looking at a fairly hefty amount, uh, at least for this uh, relative to the storm, in parts of western Michigan. So we're looking at 1 to 2 inches uh, over that area. Also for northwestern Pennsylvania, southern New York, they're looking at maybe 3 to 5. And then along uh, the spine of the Appalachians, we have right around two to five inches as well but again that's high elevation snowfall you could even see that extend maybe a little bit further into ohio and possibly into indiana especially with how uh, the radar is shaping up right now again if you're going to tune in to the game in pittsburgh uh, later today uh, then that's going to be something interesting because the national weather service is not showing any snow for pittsburgh but i don't think that's actually going to be the case uh, just because the national weather service when it comes to showing snowfall for big cities they really Really don't like to do that because of when you put a lot of snowfall for a big city now you have more people complaining if the forecast is wrong and so on so they're much more likely to put it into a lower populated area they're not going to really have too big of a deal putting it into let's say eastern ohio but once you cross over into pittsburgh and the surrounding suburbs because of the higher population dent density and the more amount of people that would complain if the forecast went wrong they're going to keep the amounts low so that's probably not going to happen i think you could still see half an inch to an inch in these spots and then you look at up into the Adirondacks and the Green and White Mountains, you're looking at maybe an inch to three inches. Uh, the Southern Adirondacks could definitely get up near three or four uh, inches of snowfall if everything goes right. 
Looking at the European model, uh, now you do need to cross off what's happening up in Wisconsin and Minnesota. The European model was rendered overnight, so it was still counting in whatever snowfall was happening up there. So that snowfall has already happened, so that's not going to happen uh, again. So we're seeing that snowfall is what's already fallen and what it was expecting uh, to fall. But everything further east of there is pretty much uh, what the uh, the model is forecasting right now. Uh, you can see that it is, it is showing a little bit more widespread snowfall into Ohio and in Pennsylvania as well as four parts of New York and uh, Vermont as well let's move on uh, to the GFS model and you can see that it is showing again those one to two inch amounts uh, for parts of Ohio Western Pennsylvania even parts of West Virginia and southwestern New York as well uh, it's not showing as much for the green and white mountains it is showing also a little bit of lake effect up into northwestern Michigan through uh, Monday morning this is the icon model, which is the German model, and you can see that this one is showing a widespread two to four inches of snowfall, which I'm not sure if that's going to be accurate uh, or not. I think I'm leaning towards more of what the uh, a blend of what the National Weather Service and the European model are showing, but it is always a possibility, so I am just going to leave that uh, in just to show you guys uh, that it is at least something that you want to keep an eye on and something that is possible. So here's a look at what the uh, forecast is uh, in that pink color. That's where I'm looking at no accumulation or a mix uh, of rain and snow into those spots. Uh, and then I'm also looking at uh, less than three inches of snowfall. So at least some amount of uh, accumulation, but probably nothing significant uh, into that uh, light blue color. So I have that up for northern Indiana, uh, parts of Michigan, as well as for Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. So all of those areas, I think. I think you could have some amount of accumulation. I am still on the fence of whether I think uh, central Indiana, northwestern Ohio, this area could see snowfall that could accumulate, as well as for the areas around Pittsburgh, uh, because that, of course, is a possibility. But I'm just curious on whether it is actually going to stick, considering that it's going to be snowing at around 34 or 35 degrees. So it is going to at least take maybe half an hour to an hour for that snowfall to stick. And then you have to you're eating into the time that you actually have the snowfall because now that it's taken already half an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half for that first initial coating to stick, well now everything after that has to come a little bit faster because you have that low pressure center which is pushing in on you. So now you have uh, the amount of the total time with snowfall uh, lowering with every single time, uh, every single second that you don't have that snowfall sticking. So that's where it starts to come into play uh, of whether you're actually going to see any meaningful accumulation considering that you are already eating into the limited amount of time that you'll have when you're not having any of that is stick, uh, sticking uh, onto the ground. So uh, that's something that could be debated. And definitely, I think you could, uh, worst case scenario, it'll be an inch or an inch and a half accumulation. So even worst case scenario, it's nothing really too terrible. But uh, it is something uh, that could cause some road issues and could make the roads a little bit slippery, uh, Slippery, especially if they haven't treated them well, uh, if, if not a lot of people are paying attention to the storm, uh, which in these early type of events, they can catch people off guard considering that it is the first snowfall uh, of the year for a lot of spots. Here's a look at that three to five inch area, and this is actually the highest I'm gonna go on this map because I really don't see any evidence that we're gonna see anything above five inches. Now, yesterday we saw some uh, some models showing 7, 8, 9, 10 inches of snowfall, uh, mainly because of lake effect enhancement, but uh, we're not seeing that same level of lake effect, uh, and it's also not going to be as cold behind the system as we were thinking yesterday, so even some of that lake effect, if it happens, might be in the form of rain or maybe mixed precipitation, so uh, for that reason, I'm thinking that it might max out at around four or five inches for areas like northwestern Michigan, uh, maybe areas in northern Indiana, southwestern Michigan. They usually get quite a bit of uh, lake effect as well. For uh, northwestern Pennsylvania, once you get away from that Cleveland, Erie, Buffalo corridor, uh, once you get away from that and you move further south into some of the hills, which are south of the Erie uh, area, that's where you could get maybe three, four, or five inches of snowfall. And then also you can see for some of the green and white mountains, as well as the Adirondacks, I have three to five inches. One disclaimer, if anybody is going to be going to the top of Mount Washington, which I highly doubt, but if you are, I think that area could see seven 
seven, eight, maybe nine inches of snowfall just purely because of elevation. But really, it's too insignificant. It's too small of an area for me to actually fit onto the map. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. Those areas could definitely see above five inches. There, of course, could be some mountaintops that see a, above five inches of snowfall. But generally, uh, as a broad brush, I'm expecting three to five inches uh, for these areas. If you have any questions or you want a personal forecast, just leave uh, a comment down below. I'll be responding within a few hours of you posting that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.